Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It's Wednesday, January 17th, 2024. Here's what's happening today in America. Seals still missing. Off to New Hampshire. Up in smoke. And the EGOT. It's all coming up. Then Bill's going to be here with your message of the day. First, we have a little more information about the two Navy SEALs who are missing. They were part of an operation off the coast of Somalia, taking part in a nighttime operation to board a boat in international waters in the Arabian Sea. This boat had Iranian-made missile parts bound for Houthi rebels in Yemen. One SEAL, we are told, fell into the water while trying to climb into the small boat. Another SEAL jumped in after him. This happened on Friday. The mission was completed. The SEALs took the 14 people on board captive and sank the captured boat. We don't yet know anything about those two Navy SEALs who have gone missing. It's horrible. The presidential campaign now moves to New Hampshire, the live free or die state. After Trump's record-breaking performance in Iowa, you know he won 98 of the 99 counties? He only lost one, the county that has the University of Iowa, and he only lost it by one, like one vote. Trump had a rally yesterday. DeSantis was in South Carolina first, then headed up to New Hampshire, and Nikki Haley had a rally with the governor of New Hampshire, Sununu. The governor of Iowa endorsed DeSantis, and the governor of New Hampshire has endorsed Nikki Haley. The weather report for the primary on Tuesday, it's nothing like Iowa, but still looking at a few inches of snow. Do you remember a couple weeks ago, there was reports that Snoop Dogg, known for his prolific consumption of marijuana, was, quote, giving up smoke. Well, it turned out that was an ad campaign for solo stoves, which are these cool fire pits that are smokeless. So Snoop Dogg is giving up smoke with his smokeless fire pit. Get it? Well, they fired the CEO. They got 60,000 new social media followers from the ad campaign, but it didn't bring in enough sales. So the CEO got the boot. No word yet on how much Snoop Dogg was paid for this endeavor. If you didn't watch the Emmys, you're not alone. If you didn't even know they were on and you get a gold star. Last year, there was an all-time low of viewers, 6 million people. Back in 2018, there were over 10 million people. This year, 4.3. The only noteworthy thing is that Elton John won an Emmy for his uh, Elton John Live Farewell from Dodger Stadium on Disney+. Plus. So that's five Grammys, a Tony Award for Aida an Oscar from The Lion King, and now this Emmy. So he got the EGOT, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony, the 19th person on that list. Bill O'Reilly has not won an EGOT, but he's the number one best-selling nonfiction writer of all time. And he's got your message of the day. Next. Do you want more online safety and privacy? I know I do. That's why I started using NordVPN. It guards me against various internet threats. Digital trackers, malicious websites, and malware-infected downloads back off. I choose to browse with more confidence. I choose NordVPN. To avoid digital threats, turn on NordVPN. It's trusted by millions of users. Just visit NordVPN.com. One of the fastest VPNs on Earth will block web trackers, malicious websites, and malware-ridden downloads. It will also encrypt your internet traffic while maintaining a smooth connection. So improve your digital privacy and protection against hackers with one simple click. Get the special deal at NordVPN.com and enjoy safer internet daily. NordVPN. Cybersecurity built for every day. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Wednesday, with the presidential campaign now officially underway, there is a disturbing shift taking place among many American voters. Some of us are actually going back to the 18th century. When U.S. Grant ran for president, most Americans knew he was a successful Civil War general. But that's all they knew. Grant was a big boozer, poor manager, and timid when it came to defending Native Americans who he knew were getting hosed. Back then, the American media was only in print, and much of that was ranked propaganda. Folks voted but had little idea about what their ballots would actually lead to. Today, we have a level of media saturation never before seen on the planet. Yet many American voters are as clueless as their ancestors were. The reason is apathy. 
In order to be informed, you have to spend time reading and listening. That's not fun many times. Cruising the cell phone and watching idiotic reality shows is much more appealing to many. The power seekers on all sides understand that propaganda rules in the USA. The electorate is largely incurious, and they are not, generally speaking, seeking enlightenment. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Okay, let's go to the mail. Tony D, College Point, New York. Bill, I don't understand. Last night you stated that if Michelle Obama wants to run for the presidency, Joe Biden will step aside for her for health reasons. How can the Democratic Party sidestep Vice President Kamala Harris? Okay, Biden's not going to step aside unless the money men tell him to. Then he would issue, as Lyndon Johnson did in 1968, say, I'm going to fulfill my first term, but I'm not running for a second term. Okay? Because of health reasons. i got to look out for my family, blah, 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 blah. So Biden's not quitting. He's not running again next November. Then Biden's going to say, if it's in the summer, I'm giving all of my delegates to Michelle Obama if she runs. Harris didn't have any say in any of that. She has no say. She's a vice president. Biden can do what he wants to do. He can give his delegates to anybody he wants. He's not giving them to her. Because she would get trounced worse than he's going to get trounced. Allen, Bill, if they let Hunter Biden off and issue a new subpoena, what's to stop him from taking the fifth when he does testify? Nothing. The subpoena only says you have to appear in a deposition. He wants to take the fifth 100 times, he can. William Cross, West Valley City, Utah. Lately, I am listening to the BBC, and it is beginning to sound like Biden rhetoric that Trump will destroy democracy all over the world. Well, what do you expect the BBC to do? BBC is more liberal than the CBC that we talked about earlier in the broadcast. BBC, come on. I mean... I think the BBC is so pro-Hamas, I'm just shocked. But it's been going that way for years. In a moment, something you might not know. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800-925-7584. For a free quote, this protection plan is at an all-time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive Free roadside assistant, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584, 800-925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 104 years ago today, the 18th Amendment to the Constitution went into effect. For the first time in history, it was illegal for any American to buy, sell, or transport alcohol. Here is the story of prohibition. The movement to ban booze began during the Civil War. Thousands of Union and Confederate soldiers abused alcohol to cope with physical and emotional pain. Even General U.S. Grant had personal struggles with spirits. Many returned home addicted to booze. In December 1917, the 18th Amendment, better known as Prohibition, was passed by Congress, sent to the states for ratification. On January 17, 1920, the USA became a completely sober nation 
at least on paper. Once implemented, the experiment was a total failure. The consumption of booze remained the same. Prohibition forced the alcohol industry underground, creating a criminal underworld dominated by gangsters like Al Capone. Thousands of Americans got sick or died from bathtub gin and other concoctions made in people's basements. Canadian mobsters even sold rubbing alcohol mixed with maple syrup. At the onset of the Great Depression, politicians decided the people deserved a drink. Congress passed the 21st Amendment in 1933, repealing prohibition nationwide. And here's something else you might not know. Today, Americans consume more alcohol than ever before. Health experts blame the rise on depression and anxiety. A recent poll from Gallup shows 70% of Americans consider themselves regular drinkers. Half of adults say they need booze in order to relax. The most popular libation in America remains the same since the Civil War, whiskey. On average, a typical person consumes 500 adult beverages every year. That's one and a half cocktails a day. 25% of Americans don't drink at all. 8% are addicted to alcohol. Back after this. Our freedom should never be taken for granted. They must be cherished, protected, and defended. When corporations pander to the liberal agenda, they must be punished. When corporations stand up for conservative values, they should be supported. This brings me to Freedom to O, the bottled water company that proudly represents us. They have hilarious sayings on each bottle like, this water ain't woke and bottled with liberal tears. Use the code BILL for a 15% discount and subscribe to Freedom 2 We must never discount freedom, but we can discount water as long as you use the code BILL. Please visit freedom2o.com to order now. That's freedom, the number two, the letter O, dot com. Freedom2o.com, use code BILL for 15% off. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.